What's going on ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Elude Stalwart Plays. Today we're going to be playing a game called Everspace 2. It's on Steam and uh, we're going to start today continuing off from the last episode, well, that I left off on, but I'm going to catch you guys up to where we're at here. Let's, let's move over here. Uh, I flipped. Did you see that? I flipped. I think I might keep it like that. But we're going to continue. All right. And then I'm also going to do something over here. Give me just one moment here. This loading. All right. I just want to preserve some of that. Yeah. Okay. Y'all see everything, right? Why did I turn that off? Hold on. Do some quality assurance here. Okay, this looks gravy. It looks like we're good. Yeah, that appears to be showing up properly. All right, cool. We'll get into a mission here. All right, like I said, this is the Everspace 2. I've already started the game a little bit. We are currently level three, so we're not far in. And we're doing a mission right now called In Transit. Dax, he asked me to purchase a premise, Prime Sense STA from the trader in Union Bridge. This is Union Bridge. The bridge is only the only known gate out of the remote uh, Seto system and connects it to a far busier union system. During the war, colonial leadership had a large expense cannon installed aimed at the gate. Hostile flooding through it never occurred. Akamai might have owned, had their own far more versatile wormhole. Wormhole! Wormholes, guys. Wormholes technology. But yeah, we gotta buy the Prime Sense STA at the trading outpost. And then also we're doing a side quest called of finding the sealed container at the abandoned station. I think we already did find the sealed container, didn't we? No, it says we gotta search this area. All right, let's go, let's we'll go get the sealed container and then we're gonna buy the Prime Sense STA. We'll try to dodge all that bullshit. This is the starter vehicle. We've not even Abandoned really ranked it up. Abandoned to me. All right, this How many is not there? abandoned. Five. One of them's a pretty nasty viper. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I knew it. Don't let them get away. He ain't dying. I'm too far away. Okay. Let's drop back. Yeah, wow, 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 wow. Okay. We'll engage. Oh my god! It's like they're high level for me or something. This is where I called it last night. I was starting to play the game and it was interesting, so I kept playing it. And I got to rank three. And then I hit this mission, I died once, and I was like, okay, that's it, I'm gonna call it. So there I think there might be something I'm missing here. This is supposed to be abandoned, but it's not. That station doesn't look abandoned to me. How many are there? Five. This guy from way over One there scanning us. Viper. I knew it. Don't let them get away. Ow. He's nuking my shields. Let's recharge our shield a bit. I'm going in for the kill. He's so far. He's like trying to bait me. Huh. I... Jeez, how close do I gotta be to this drone? Oh, 
There we go. I was probably just shooting at the wrong reticle. All right, let's get back out here a little bit more. Huh? Just keep coming. You gotta heal. You gotta heal. All right, you energize boost. Boost away a bit further. We got our shield back. I don't think our hull repairs. Alright, as they come out here to fight me, I'll, I'll engage. I don't think they're gonna do it though. Yeah, that little hyperdrive boost, this thing, energize boost, that launched me far. The nearest guy is six kilometers away. They start shooting me at about two kilometers. I can only hit them whenever I'm like within eight kilometers or something. What is this? Oh, these are all like something else going on. Some shit exploded out here. What is this? Broken drone? Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. This is normal difficulty. Just as a side note. Okay. So yeah, about 2k away they can start shooting at me. I don't know what the effective range of my weapons are right now. So about 500 yards, my, my weapons are a pretty close effective range. Okay, that's nice, that's nice. When I land bullet shots, my hull recharges, it looks like. That is just what I need. That would be the orange bar, the hull. Ooh. Stay right. Stay right. I didn't realize there was two of them there, and that they were even that close. Going in for this one. Four, but the Viper a little bit of bumper cars. Is the package still there? Oh, the Viper was that big one. Yeah, the package is still here. I see it on my radar. What is this? What are these things? Gat GB freighter? Ooh, plasma. Okay, all right. I see you there, I see you there. What about this? Taking damage, but it's not exploding. Okay, all right, all right. We'll pull that one in. We'll go for this way. Uh, don't mind if I do, take another one. Anything else? Anything else? Anything to blow up? Anything to search? Here's a little dot. I need to get some higher level sensors. My sensors don't actually detect until I'm pretty close already. Look, you see that big ship back out there? GB Freighter. Oh, he took off. Alright, here's another one of those little orbs. Plasma orbs. Anything else? Anything that's like a tank or a storage container. Search this area. You can find it anywhere. What ship types did the group fly? Apart from that elite viper. What that is? Two madcaps, a scout, and a sniper drone. Just as I thought. I hate those guys. They pestered me to sell them the wares, but I turned them down. They didn't happen to have left their yeah, address by any chance. The Viper pilot has his lair in Rodeo orbit. I would Ooh. be very grateful if you could get my package back. This. These are iron. There is uh, 23 iron. Well, is that right? You. How about a raise up to 3.5? 
Yes, give me more money. I don't mind if I do. We're gonna equip that booster, and then we'll just dismantle this one. Okay. Sounds fair. I'm on it. We got a crystal diode in this one. Alright, we got a... I guess we couldn't find the package here, but we did find that stuff. And now we gotta go buy the Prime Sense STA. And this guy's up the amount he was gonna give me. He was gonna give me like 2,000, but now it sounds like he's gonna give me 3.5 or something like that. Because getting his package was a little bit more complicated than we had originally anticipated. All right, where at? What do I do now? Anything else to blow up? I don't see any other kind of containers. What about this little? Bit? No, no, don't look like it. Unless it's really tanky. What about that little shiny one down here? Okay, okay, okay. Look guys, it's the pale blue dot. I don't know much about this game. I remember hearing about it coming out and I remember thinking uh, I have to play that game because it boasted freelancer-like gameplay. And I used to love freelancer. I had a buddy who ran a server and it was like a kind of like a bootleg jailbroken server and we all got our bootleg jailbroken versions of uh, freelancer and we basically had a LAN going on and he kept the server up and it was like a persistent LAN. Oh we got a high capacity web missile. But yeah the the way he had his setup was like uh, there was just like in this game, there's an economy and you could go to different star systems and things were like illegal in some sectors and legal in others and they were worth more if you took them to a further away or a high demand sector. So you, you could just do trade route runs and that was like a full legit part of the game. Or you could be like a miner, go and get resources, bounty hunting, like all those different things were in the game. And you could outfit your ship and since his was like kind of a bootleg server we'd do some really cool shit to our ship and make our ships like stupid fast or super strong or super powerful or whatever but yeah that game like that's what i was looking for like uh looking around playing all these other space flight sims there are a lot of games like that get pretty close but this is supposed to be a game that's supposed to be like the spirit of freelancer lives on and already like the gameplay the controls the storyline even in this game seems pretty pretty good it's like really legit what i want to know is if this is ever going to become multiplayer because the multiplayer experience yeah shit, i don't even know how it would work or if it even is uh is even going to be iterated to that extent Cause wasn't it like um, No Man's Sky came out single player at first, but then they gave it multiplayer compatibility. Yeah, I want to see this, this, this version of the game to get something like a GTA 5M jailbreak, and then I want it to be like modded a certain way, so that not only are we able to like multiplay and do stuff on the same servers and stuff like that and traverse the star systems together do trade routes and bounty hunting runs and stuff like that but it would also be cool if you could just like uh i don't know um i i'm struggling to remember what i'm what i'm looking for here i need to go to the primates oh i was just exploring looking for packages okay my bad I'm still new to this game, so I'm gonna have these squirrel moments a lot. But, uh, here, let's cruise. But yeah. Freelancer, freelancer. 
It's like being able to control the ship like this, how nimble it is. Like, so many different things. And it's so seamless. Like, it's so seamless. I forgot what else. There was something else I was going to say about multiplayer freelancer. It's going to nag at me until I, I remember. But... Around. Yes. Let's repair. There's some stuff in the shop here. A teleporter instantly teleports the ship 600 meters forward. Oh, it's like a teleport. It's like a teleport. <laughs> it's called a teleporter. You can make your ship more like a mage though, like a cloaking device kind of uh Yeah, that's fucking badass. Oh yeah, uh, the modding community. Like, are are is this is this a game that is able to be modded like that? Is there or are we gonna have like a like DayZ for example? The game DayZ was based off of Arma 2, right? So it's just DayZ. The game was just an Arma 2 mod. So people modded DayZ so consistently the same way that the developers decided to make just a whole different version. At least this is how I understood it. Uh, a whole different version of the game. This force... The, I have a four slot cargo unit. This is good because it dismantles uh, scraps and stuff. Whenever I scrap things, I get the some of the resources back. I was trying to see if there was a bigger one. It's just the same one that I already have. I can upgrade my plating. Buy and equip plating. I also have stuff already here. If I reach level 4, I can get this. Oh, this is the higher level sensor. And then rockets here. It's saying they're worse than the ones I have, though. Okay, these are homing missiles, so these offer the ability to home in. They have 2,000 meter range. They do more damage. This is, the homing missile I have already is a common military grade assault missile. Tracks lock targets for strong kinetic damage. The rockets are high capacity rapid projectile launchers. No guidance technology, strong against large slow targets. Okay. So this is uh, more like aim at yourself it just fires faster, I guess, because of how fast it fires. Oh, but the, also the capacity. Look at the capacity. You can have 220 rockets, whereas you can only have 20 homing missiles. I was like, I was really failing to see why I would even switch this out, but just that alone, probably a good reason to. But then that was rockets. We also have the sensor. These require level four. I'm just into level 3, I still need like 2,000 more experience. Uh, all these extra things, like repairing, <laughs> I've just been dis destroying, I've been scrapping those. And uh, I hope I didn't destroy that. No, yeah, I've been dismantling those. You can destroy things that can sell on the auction house or the market. Yeah, I saw something flash over here, what was that? Yeah, Flash, what was that? Okay, we got 18 minutes, guys. We're 18 minutes into this episode. I just wanted you guys to know that I picked up a new game. This is a game I've been watching for a while. It's scratching that uh, freelancer itch for me. Like, freelancer. I would even go back into looking up a uh, freelancer to see if there are any alive servers still left. I just never considered it until just at this moment just now that... Maybe there's someone actually still running an old freelancer server, but I would much rather them run an Everspace 2 server now. Like, if there's a way we can... I mean, not while the game's still relevant, like, I would like to see maybe a resurrection. Because I know they're still... This game just came out. They're still patching and adding, like, bug fixes, and they're even talking about uh, DLC, or uh, expansions, rather, I think. But, I don't know, like... I think it would be cool. Just my own two cents there. I don't know what if that's even feasible. 
I'm investing to upgrade some stuff here. I don't know why I'm parking like this. Okay, so we got uh, the cruise drive upgraded. I thought for whatever reason, I would just save all my mats to upgrade just one of these that I want to focus on. But they cost different materials, so it's basically whatever materials you get allows you to upgrade whatever it is you can. We almost have enough iron to fully upgrade the repairs. Uh, the iron aspect of repairs. We will have enough scrap metal. Now we need six power casing, six iron, and then some credits to upgrade the tractor, the repairs module. Now the tractor beam requires crystals. So this is also a reason why you would go out exploring like I was exploding those little boxes. So you can upgrade this type of stuff. Your perks, they're called perks. These are Dax's perks specifically. So we're giving Dax these materials and, and this money and stuff. And he's doing this type of stuff for our ship. We're in transit. We got to go buy the Prime Sense STA at the trading outpost. Uh, isn't that where we're at? We're at the pra yeah. Okay, so this is the Prime Sense STA. We need to make money. How do we make it? How do we make it the money? I need to make it the money. Look, this only sells for 123 copper, 88 copper. But this, this sells. This is what I mean. Like you could actually go and just like bootleg. I mean, obviously, like, there's nothing wrong with, uh, clothing, but I think liquor maybe in some stations may be illegal, but I, I, it says normal demand in current system. Okay, so I just go, I think I go to, I am at the trading outpost, right? So I can just sell. Oh, yeah, I can just sell this right now. Sell? Okay. Oh, we're learning, guys. We're learning. That was, uh, 728 copper. Or whatever the currency is. 992. Is it ISK? It's not ISK, is it? Okay. We got up to shield. We need to go out and collect more. And then we can afford the Prime Sense STA. This sells for 123 and 88. Yeah, that's not going to get us there. Yeah, so I'm going to go out farming. I'm shooting, grabbing stuff from crates and boxes and blowing things up. And until next time, let me know in the comments. This is the this has been the pilot episode of Everspace 2. And uh, I appreciate you guys tuning in. And, and until then, peace, peace, peace.